hello. We're going to go over a speed pack. I'm going to go ahead and open a file. In this case, I'm going to be opening the track drive right because I know that one has some speed pack parts in it. So when you open a part, there are, or an assembly, there are several modes here. There's resolved, lightweight, or large design review. Uh, resolved will open and resolve all the parts. Lightweight will only do like a lightweight uh, graphics only. Large design review will do uh, like a graphics only for the entire thing. And the larger your assembly, the, the more you're gonna wanna do this um, so that you don't load everything. It could take minutes to load everything. Um, I've got a pretty hefty machine here, so I'm gonna say resolved. Um, and I'm not gonna check use speed pack because um, uh, this assembly itself doesn't have a speed pack, but it has other assemblies in it that are speed packed. So I wanna show you the difference here. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and open that. It's gonna take a moment. You can see this one has 265 components. Um, there's a setting that has a, a minimum of 500. So if it hits 500, it might automatically load in a different mode. Um, speed pack components show with, with this sort of um, uh, empty icon here. Uh, you can see there's two of them. There's the track assembly and the, the main structure. Um, now, some of you have been getting this issue where you've got the, uh, the speed pack circle. That is very easy to turn off. You just hit Alt S and it goes away. You can also go to the view menu uh, and go to display and it's down here, display speed pack graphic circle. Um, so another thing with speed pack is that you can't select items. Uh, you'll notice that because the track assembly is a speed pack uh, assembly, I can't click on it. You can see even the icon shows a little um, white black there. Um, if I click on something, it clicks underneath it to the part underneath. And that's kind of why the, the circle is helpful because you you can see what is actually loaded um, and what is speed packed. Um, so if I want to load that, all I have to do is come over here, right click on it and say speed pack, set speed pack to parent. That's just going to load the parent configuration. It's going to load that in. And now it's fully loaded. And if I bring up the circle, you can see it's not hiding it. Um, uh, same thing with the, the main structure here. I can go over here, I can right click on it, speed pack options, set speed pack to parent, and it's going to fully load that in. And it's going to take some additional time here because it's got to load that, that substructure in. Okay, so now all the things are loaded. Uh, and it's because it's fully loaded, you can tell that it's got a, um, a rebuild error. Um, so if you wanna go back to the speed packed view, you can right click on it and go back to speed pack options and say use speed pack. And it's going to just unload that from memory. Um, so the reason we've done this is because when you're loading ton of stuff like this is only like I said 263 uh, parts but if you're into the lower half or the upper half or um, you know you're, you're looking at a lot of stuff together then it's going to take up a bunch of memory it's going to take up several minutes to load um, you know and that's it's not the fault of your machine being insufficient it's just a bunch of data um, and you can run out of resources very quickly, especially if you have multiple assemblies open at the same time. So things that we don't have to work with a lot, I just put a speed pack in. And there are multiple speed pack configurations. Um, let me show you another option. So we, we know that the right uh, structural assembly has a speed pack. So I'm going to close this and I'll open up. So we know that has a speed pack. Um, so I'm going to leave this unchecked and see what happens if I just open it. I'm expecting this will load the entire assembly with everything resolved. And okay, it didn't. You'll see there's no parts here and you see that like icon there. But again, it's easy to just 
Uh, actually, it's not in there. In this case, it's in here. Um, this is one I have to rebuild, but you can see which configuration is loaded right now. It's the uh, EV105 battery main structure, and then it says underscore speed pack. So if I want to load this, I just double click on the, the parent. That's why it said, um, you know, uh, use speed pack parent because it means the parent configuration because the speed pack is a sub configuration of whatever configuration you're on. See, so now all the parts are there. And I think it's, it did that because um, I saved it uh, with this configuration enabled. Um, so let's say, let's say I save it like this without the speed pack configuration enabled. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna close this. Open it. Main structure. And I'm going to say this time, I want to say use speed pack. I would expect it to load the speed pack sub configuration of this configuration. And it didn't. <laughs> okay, that checkbox is not helpful. Yeah. Okay, so I would have expected that checkbox to do a lot more, but uh, clearly either I don't understand how it works or it's not working properly. Um, so yeah, uh, shouldn't be afraid of speed packs. They're, they're there to help us. And um, oh, actually that's another, that's another good place to look at it. Okay, so if I go to open from this panel, there's a way to get to those options here as well. So setting what mode you want to open with. I don't, I can't do this because it's already open. Uh, but let's say if I wanted to open this one, you know, I can say what mode I wanted to, to load in. And you can see in this case, this one has a default and a default speed pack. So it has no other sub configurations, just the default and speed pack. If I hit, Use speed pack. Yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make a difference. Okay, so yeah, things to remember. Just go in here and say um, speed pack options. Set speed pack to parent, and that's all you need to do. Uh, if you're in an assembly that is in a speed pack mode, just go to the configuration and go to the parent configuration. Um, if you've got that circle, Alt S. Get rid of it. Very easy. Uh, setting the speed packs is harder because you need to make sure you're taking taking into account all the things that need to be in the speed pack. Um, for instance, uh, you know I need the mating faces to be available um, in the speed pack, and and when you update something, you need to update the speed pack so that it represents reality. Um, so that's why occasionally it will say, hey, the speed pack needs to be updated. Um, but yeah, it really is there to help reduce the, the load times, reduce the amount of memory. Uh, it increases your, um, your graphical speed. Um, and if you're loading a lot of the, the robot, then having speed packs is important. And we're only using them in a few places right now, sort of as an experiment. Removing them is easy. Um, but uh, yeah, they they have been beneficial at least at least to me. So there you go.